Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Java tutorial in our Java tutorial series. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a new file using the new, well, newer, I should say, uh, file system API within Java 7. Now, I know I said that, oh, this is from Java 8 in the previous two tutorials. It's not. I'm sorry. I made that mistake. Um, it's actually, it was actually um, put out in Java 7. So keep that in mind. Um, that was my bad. However, however, like I said, this is the more, it's the more modern way of dealing with files. You still read and write to and from files the same kind of ways that you would before but there are certain other ways uh, to do specific things like copying files creating directories uh, moving files moving directories that kind of stuff and we'll kind of go over that in this um, in this video so Let's get started, shall we? The first thing that we want to do, right, is typically we have a test.txt file here in the in this project. I'm going to delete it for now. And yes, I would like to delete it. Eclipse, thank you. All right. So we want to create a file called test.txt. What I want to do here is something a little bit different than what we have been doing. Um, this is just another way that you can do it. So string, right, uh, file name is equal to test, oh, test.txt. Great. So now we have a string with the file name uh, stored at the memory address that it's pointing to. So with that being said, there's a new way of creating a, uh, there's, there's new ways of creating a, fi a file. The first thing we'll need is, a, is what's called a path object. And that path object will hold um, the location of our file. And how do we do that? Well, we, we go ahead and do path. We give this object a name. I'm going to call it path. We're going to set it equal to paths dot. And you can see we get three different methods. Uh, each of them is get. Now we're just going to do the one with the lone string. Oh, I'm sorry, two methods. My 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 bad. Uh, paths dot get, and then in here we pass a URI. In this case, our file path. Now, let's see. We can hover over this and it says, oh, I'm sorry, file name. Not file path. File name. There we go. Now the path to that file is stored here. We can go ahead and import path as well as paths. This is inside of a new package called java.nio.file.paths and dot path. So we have that. Cool. Our next thing that we need to do is 
we need to test if the file at this path exists. Because in the new file system API, if you try to create a file that already exists, okay, if it already exists, it will throw an exception. It'll throw a file already exists exception. Whereas if we, whereas if we called the create new file method on the on a file object, it would just return false if the file already exists. So to prevent that exception, we need to say if, and then inside of the parentheses, we need to have the condition files dot exists. Oh, dot exists. No, that's not what I wanted. exists and then you can also test if it doesn't exist by calling the not exists function and I'll show that off as well but this exists function takes in a path so we give it our path and we could give it some options but we don't but we're not going to so with this We do have a bit of an we do have an issue here where we have too many parentheses. Get rid of that one parenthesis. Okay, cool. So with that being with that being done and over with now, now we can um, go ahead and say if it exists already. Then we will say system out print line. This file already exists. And then otherwise, we will go files dot create file at the path. And we could give it attributes, but we're not going to as well on that. And there we go. However, there is a bit of an issue here. You can see we get a red squiggly line. Well, when, when that happens, surround it with a try catch. Because, like create new file from the file class, oh, from the file objects, it will throw an IO exception, so you have to catch that exception. So that's what that will do. Let's go ahead now, save it and run it, and we'll see what happens, right? So, it ran, nothing output into the console, no errors were caught, nothing of that sort. But if we go ahead and we, let's see, where's the refresh? We refresh. You can see we have our test.txt file created. But if I go ahead and I delete this file, and we say not exists 
instead of exists. We will say, uh, we'll run this. You can see we now get something printed out to the console saying this file already exists, even though it doesn't. But that's beside the point. That's just, this is just to show you that it does, in fact, uh, work. So let's go back to exists, right? And we save it, run it, make sure the file is there, right? Then we run it again, and you can see this file already exists because we created the file again. It doesn't show up in the Project Explorer unless you refresh it, but that's basically what happens here. Pretty neat, pretty cool. And that's how you go about, uh, that's, that's basically how you go about uh, creating a, f a new file in, uh, in Java with the new file system API that was added in Java 7, rather than using the old way uh, before Java 7 and uh, yeah in the next tutorial I will show you how to utilize the uh, the new file system API to read and write to and from files and anyways guys that basically wraps it up for this thank you all so very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one see ya